Crypto is the future, and if you are not invested yet, you need to get invested. That's why I decided to make this full crypto investing beginner's guide for 2022. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you what the blockchain is, what a crypto is, and what it does, how to buy crypto and store it, how to find cryptos that are going to run, and then at the end, I'll show you how to build your very own crypto portfolio. So if that sounds good to you, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe and watch all the way until the end of the video so you don't miss any of these very important steps. And the first thing that we're going to be going over is the blockchain. The blockchain is basically going to be a ledger that facilitates the process of recording transactions and tracking assets in a business network. Now the blockchain is going to do three things. It's going to provide transparency, security, and decentralization. Now the blockchain provides transparency by having each transaction on the blockchain viewable to the public. It provides security by cross-referencing different copies of the chain and therefore it makes it extremely hard to change any block on the chain. Now for the most important part, the blockchain is going to be decentralized because it is a specific database and it requires a collection of computers to run it. This this makes it very hard for one person to control everything, so it makes it extremely decentralized. Okay, now getting into the second part of this video, we're going to be going over what a cryptocurrency is and what it does. A crypto is going to be a digital coin designed to work as a medium of exchange through a computer network that is not reliant on any central authority such as government or bank to uphold or maintain it. In order to find a cryptocurrency you like, you can go to a few different websites. I like to use CoinMarketCap. On CoinMarketCap, you're able to filter and find what you like, and then you can look into a coin a bit further. Further. Once you find a crypto you like, you can go to their website to learn more about it. Usually just by reading the front page of their website, you're going to get a great understanding of what it is and you can decide if you want to invest in it or not. After you decide if you want to invest in it or not, you want to check the news on it. So go on Twitter or Google search and just look up the recent news on it to see if they have any catalysts coming up. If you find some negative news, maybe stay away. But if you don't find any negative news, you can go ahead and invest in it. And that brings us into the third section of this video, how to buy a crypto and store it. Now the easiest way to buy crypto is through an exchange. There are multiple exchanges that you can use. You can use crypto.com, Coinbase, Binance, but the one I like to use is Public. And that's actually going to be the sponsor of this video, Public.com. Public.com is a social investing network that allows you to see what your favorite investors are buying and selling in the stock and crypto markets. Plus, when you use their link and deposit just $1, you get the chance to earn a free stock worth up to $300. So go ahead and click that first link in the description to get signed up to Public.com. But yeah, once you go on CoinMarketCap, find a crypto you want to invest in, you didn't find any negative news on it and you read their website, you can go ahead and buy it on any of these exchanges. Now there's a couple of ways that you can actually store this crypto if you don't want to just have it on an exchange. The reason you might not want it on an exchange is because exchanges can get hacked so you can move it into a different wallet or you can actually move it offline. Now there's two different types of wallets, a hot wallet which is still online and a cold wallet which is offline. A couple of hot wallets which are still online are going to be MetaMask and Trust Wallet. And an example of a cold wallet is going to be the Ledger Nano X. There are pros and cons to both of these. The pro of a hot wallet is that your money is still easily accessible. However, you're still at risk of getting hacked. With a cold wallet, you're not really at risk of getting hacked, but it's not as easily accessible. But yeah, that's how you're going to be buying and storing your crypto. And now I know you're wondering, hey, how do I find cryptos that are going to run soon? And the best way to do that is going to be with the websites Lunar Crush as well as StockTwits. Lunar Crush is going to be a website that tracks the social activity of different cryptos. And StockTwits does the same thing, but it does it with both stocks and crypto. So Lunar Crush is going to be a bit more geared towards crypto, but StockTwits is great as well. So what you're going to do is check the trending pages of both Lunar Crush and StockTwits and pick the top five and just look up the news on them. If it's good, maybe consider investing. And now for the most exciting part of the video, I'm going to teach you guys how to build your portfolio. The most important thing to know about investing in crypto is managing your risk. You don't want too much of your money in any one coin because if the coin goes to zero, you're going to be very sad. The way that I like to set up my crypto portfolio is going to be 50% in blue chip crypto. Cryptos. These are going to be your Bitcoins, Ethereums, your Solanas, your Avalanches, and any other in the top 15 really. These cryptos all have large market caps, so they're not going to fluctuate as much, but they are going to continue to go up and have a ton of utility. Personally, I have 50% of my portfolio in Ethereum, Solana, and Avalanche. After that, you're going to want to invest in a ton of different lower cap cryptos that have no more than a 7.5% allocation in your portfolio. So basically, you're going to want to pick about seven other cryptocurrencies to buy. Personally, I would go with about five different cryptocurrencies in the top 100 but below the top 20. Some I would suggest are going to be Cosmos, Phantom, Aave, Chainlink, and anything else in the top 100. And then you're going to want to pick two cryptos outside of the top 100 that have a chance to really blow up. A couple examples would be Scale Network and SushiSwap. And that's pretty much it for building your portfolio. So there you go. You should now know how to invest in cryptocurrencies in 2022. If you guys want to ask me more questions or learn more, go ahead and join our free section of our private discord that we just opened up. It's going to be the 
the second link in our description. But other than that, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe, comment your favorite cryptocurrency down below, and get your free stock with the first link in the description. That's going to be it for today's video. I'm Zach Friesen. Take it easy.